What's up, guys? Graham here. I figure I'd just chat with you guys while I level up the mage a little bit because I've got to get prepped up for the pyromancer build that I'm going to be doing just shortly. And I would like to get him leveled up. Hopefully, I can get him leveled up to level 65 in a short amount of time, and then I'll be able to. Uh, make the guide while I'm level 65 rather than uh, doing like I did in the last ranger video which was uh, I was only at level 60 and I had to tell you what to spec at 65 instead of actually being there myself and that makes it a little more difficult because you guys don't know if uh, I'm telling you the right things and all of that but I am trust me I'm telling you the right things just following my advice I'll be at level 65 and I'll be showing you war fronts of that. Now some of the things that people have been asking me is why haven't I been putting out warrior videos? Well the answer to that is that warrior is extremely weak right now. Uh, how weak it is I'm not real sure but you've got the three as I call them super specs that are out right now. One of them is Pyromancer. Uh, the other is Ranger, and the other is Inquisitor. So every one of the classes has a super spec, so to say. Now, Warrior does not have anything. Only thing that Warrior has that's a little bit viable right now is Tempest. And the reason for that being is that it's a whole ranged war going on right now. Uh, warriors are usually up front in the front lines doing the Paragon stuff, the Warlord stuff, all of that. Well, they've made Warlord a lot weaker. So that makes it to where a lot of these Paragon builds are also weaker because they threw Warlord in there for a little bit of tankiness and also some other utility as well. But now if you play a tempest you can fight at range like everybody else is because it's a big ranged fight out there but you don't have any survivability for the most part if you start specking into tank specs or anything else to go with tempest you're going to lose out on a lot of your dps and it's not going to be a very viable build um and if you're playing a melee role right now, you're pretty much going to get owned up for the most part. Uh, yeah, if you can find your victims off to the side and not have to face tank any damage at all, then that might be alright. But if you run into the big three, uh, Pyromancer, Inquisitor, or Ranger, you're probably going to get eaten up as a melee character right now. And um, what was so good in the past is that People would complain about Warrior in the past uh, as well as Nightblades and Sins and Shamans and all of that because they did really good damage. Well, there was a reason for it. It's because they had to be in the front lines eating a lot of damage in exchange. It was always a case of going in, do as much damage as you can, and then you got to run away. Uh, whereas ranged builds always were able to stay out on the range. They could... They could fire from way away from their opponents and they didn't have to worry about eating all the damage. That's why I always made such a big deal of marksman in the past is because marksman was so easy to play. You basically stood back, shot everybody, killed everybody, and there was no worrying at all. Whereas a warrior, I've got to charge in, I've got to gauge how much damage is about to be done to me, uh, I've got to do my best line of sighting as I can, I've got to just basically figure out how much damage I can take, how to avoid it, and when to get out. And that's things that range builds really don't have to worry about. And now with range being so strong, it's there's no reason to be a melee character at all. Um, you can stand back and do more damage than the melee person is going to do you know even if they're on you uh that's one of the things that's kind of frustrating me right now is i play my warrior and i charge into a pyromancer and i think finally i found one out by himself i don't have to get ranged by everybody else well then i start fighting the pyromancer and he just turns around and face tanks me and kills me anyway and that's just absolutely crazy to me um and of course he's got plenty of abilities to get away but 
you know, they don't even have to get away for the most part. You look at Inquisitors and stuff like that, and they've got the double heal, and they're doing so much more damage to me than I'm doing to them. And they can dot me up, they can debuff me, they can, tons of survivability, tons of CC, tons of utility, and the damage to back it up. It's just absolutely insane. And then you fight a ranger, and the ranger does great damage. Their pet does great damage. You kill the pet, they can instant summon another pet. Uh, if you actually do good damage to them, they can pop their 10 second immunity for, you know, I don't know exactly what the cooldown on Diffuse is right off the top of my head, but yeah, man, it's those three specs are just wiping out everybody. And I have a lot of people telling me, well, I run this warrior spec and I'm doing all right, but I'm level 63. Man, life changes at 65. Please don't compare lower level to uh, max level. But uh, right now, warrior is just so weak and it's just not really worth playing at the moment. Um, I'm keeping on my warrior and making sure I'm gearing him out so whenever things do get fixed, and I'm hoping they do get fixed eventually here, uh, my warrior will be geared out and ready to go and we will be making a lot of warrior videos. Um, but I was real disappointed in the Wednesday patch whenever I seen that the warrior changes were all with Void Knight. You know, nobody plays Void Knight in PvP unless you're in CQ, which CQ is not even open right now. You can't even take part in it. So, yeah, th I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on PvP right now and answer a few of the questions as in, you know, why isn't there that much uh, warrior content right now? But, uh... My warrior is the only level 65 that I have right now. I've got to level up all the other three. And of course the other three are the ones with the super specs and I don't have them leveled up yet. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to try to grind away at the mage and hopefully he'll be leveled up in time to make the Pyromancer video for you guys. And uh, share the common builds that are out right now. Uh, I had asked in a, a past video for you guys to submit your specs to me and yeah you guys knocked it out of the park a lot of you sent me pyromancer builds a lot of you sent inquisitor I mean just I've gotten lots of builds and it's very cool how much you guys are supporting the channel but in response to you guys supporting uh, what I'm doing so much uh, a lot of you guys are using my referral link whenever you uh, create your Rift account. I got the link in the description below this video as well. And whenever you create your Rift account with that referral link, it gives me referral points. And that allows me to get things to where I can give it to you guys. Uh, take for example, if I end up getting Rex off of there. I can send you guys Rex on any server or anything because I can just create a character on your server and go ahead and send you some Rex. Um, or else I could use the credits that I could get from the referral points, you know, by getting a Rex and uh, buy things off of the Rift store and gift them out to you guys. So that opens up a whole new possibility on uh, giveaways. So what I'm thinking is every Saturday we're going to have uh, the giveaways are coming back. I know some of you guys were disappointed that I wasn't doing any giveaways lately. Um, but uh, I would like to resume the giveaways. But it's I'm able to do those giveaways because of the people that are using my referral link. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to give away some wrecks. I'm thinking something like five wrecks every Saturday and it'll be five different winners. Now the big catch is, is if you are somebody that used my referral link and uh, you're, you're contributing towards the referral points that I'm getting, you will win five or 10 times the amount of wrecks that you would have won. So if you actually won a prize where you got a Rex, one of the five, well, Let's go ahead and boost it up to five wrecks instead, or ten wrecks, or something like that. You know, just uh, just a really big bonus for you for supporting my channel and helping with these giveaways by using my referral links. And also, uh, I would like to do uh, referral link uh, groups on a certain day coming up. 
if you've leveled up your character to level 65 and you have uh, used my referral link, you will be on my friends list and I would like to group up with you guys and make some videos and stuff like that. I'm, a lot of ideas are going through my head right now. Uh, we'll just have to see what all uh, comes of it. Um, another idea I thought about doing was a state of the game kind of video every week or state of PvP address kind of thing. Uh, maybe talking to you guys about what I think is powerful, what I think, uh, needs to be buffed up or anything like that. Uh, you guys might be interested in my thoughts every week. Who knows? Uh, well, we might try it out. I'm thinking of just different segments of, uh, the Grim channel that we could put out to where it keeps interesting for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy all of it. So, I'm going to get busy leveling up this mage here, and as usual guys, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.